Hello, Geek Life! This video is part of a video series on the digital marketing course Squared Online. In this video, I will be sharing on the contents of Module 2. In Module 2, you will learn about customer journey frameworks to map out your customer needs and wants into segments. You will also understand the aha moments that trigger your customer's engagement of your services or purchase your products. You will hence learn how to match your business offerings to the customers through a seamless experience. This includes learning to craft content based on how you have analysed your customers and your business unique offering to better trigger a valuable engagement of your customers. Given all of the above, you would have gained concepts and theories on how to design a strategy for better matching your company's values and your customers' needs. So again, how useful were these learning objectives? 10 stars being very useful and 1 star being not very useful. In the first week, the frameworks introduced are easily applicable to most industries and businesses and it's a helpful tool for dissecting and understanding your customers better. That being said, it is a useful guideline especially when you are stuck on a business problem. How well you are able to handle this depends on how clear your company's values are and how well it has been communicated to you. If interpreted inaccurately, it will still be a challenge to achieve the alignment of brand values to your customers' needs. Creating a content plan to reach out to your customers really requires second opinions and is highly subjected to your company's content creating policies as well as your boss' style of writing. As such, this section of the module may or may not be helpful to you depending on how open your company is to new ideas and ways of creating content. In the last week, the value of the content depends on your individual experience in marketing and the complexity of customers that you are managing. That will influence how much this course can benefit you. So, what do you think? If you're not familiar with more than half of the content covered, then this course might be able to add value to you. But, if you want to find out more, do stay tuned for the next video on the next module and decide again if this is for you.